Hey, what's up everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. So, uh, on this video, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks. And this is regarding Windows HDR. Because some of you seem to have a problem with using the Windows HDR on your PC for your video games on the PC. And uh, the one main question that I do get on Facebook and other social media networks it's always hey mr 4k can you help me out man i have a pc a very powerful pc a really good monitor you know it has like 400 nits maybe even higher and uh whenever i switch to hdr on windows hdr and games and apps icon to turn it on it always dims down why is this happening mr 4k can you explain to us what what's the issue here what's the problem well there is no problem it's just that the microsoft did not tell you a trick uh and they should have explained this to everybody when they implemented the hdr there is a little hidden feature which i will talk about but the reason that happens the reason it dims down it's because the hdr values of the uh, paper white are set to default so whenever you have a uh, paper white value set to default, what happened is it stays dimmed, okay? Meaning that you're not enhancing your uh, contrast levels. Therefore, you're not experiencing HDR to its truest. So in order for you to do that, you have to go ahead. When you select, uh, when you go to display settings, when you select play HDR and games and apps, there is a little feature here called Windows HD color settings. It's right over here. It's called the Windows HD color settings where it's highlighted. And this is where you adjust your peak brightness. I'm going to show you that right now. Here we go. And this is something that Windows should have, uh, Microsoft should have told you, but they never did. So you click on this app and it tells you exactly what display you have. Stream HDR videos. Yes. Play HDR games and apps, yes. Use VGC apps. So you pretty much can use HDR on any video that has HDR or any uh, video game that supports HDR. You select on on stream HDR video and you select on on play HDR games and apps. Now, there is another feature here that will help you enhance the paper white so you can have a much brighter, brighter screen. It's right over here. Now, this is a demo. They're showing you how the HDR looks. Now, this is the important part right here. You see, it's always set to default. So when you first turn this on, it's left at the default levels. And I'm recording right now in the HDR. It's selected the default levels. What this basically does, if you're not watching a content that's in HDR and you are on Windows, and you are compressing the HDR into the SDR container, what you can do is you can brighten it up with the uh, SDR content appearance. So basically, even though you have HDR compressed on your Windows, and it's in a SDR container, you can still adjust that brightness. And push it all the way high. Push that paper white all the way to 100. And there you go. And now we can go ahead, we can maybe watch a trailer for, uh, where is it, Call of Duty, and uh, we'll click full screen, and you'll see just what a drastic difference it's going to be. So let me click on it. Here we go. you can tell right away that the hdr like on that fire it, it looks more vivid you can tell there's more contrast ratio to it even though this video it's not in hdr but i'm compressing it to be in hdr through my graphics card and through the windows app And it should look good on your video when you're watching this, uh, when you click 
to watch my video you should definitely notice a difference remember guys HDR always thrives on that paper white on that peak brightness all right it what it basically does that paper white enhances the ratio between your contrast ratio between your white digital levels and your black digital levels that's really what it is guys okay all right but let's jump into uh, let's jump into the uh, ghost recon breakpoint let's jump in there and from here we're gonna adjust our HDR settings let's continue so I'm gonna go to the options I'm gonna check my HDR go to the settings we're gonna make sure that the HDR is turned on and we're gonna go to the uh, the icon right here we'll turn the HDR on there it is we're gonna apply it and then we're gonna use the uh, HDR calibration now you're gonna see the HDR even more better more accurate because we have now we're using the real HDR tone mapping so now we're gonna use the HDR calibration and we're gonna enhance the paper white just slightly so we can brighten that up a little bit not too much you see you want to make sure you see this is why I always tell people I use my eyes because with my own two eyes I know exactly how much of that brightness do I need from that Sun uh, that's you know that it's beaming down and reflecting onto that river okay so let's leave it at 293 and HDR intensity will leave it like that <clears throat> so the next thing we got to do is exit out of here click back and there we are now we're good to go now the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, play the game just to see how well it looks it should look pretty good and this is true uh, for for all of my picture settings that I use this is why I use my own two eyes I don't believe in equipment telling me what standards I should go by because the the equipment doesn't know what content I'm watching okay your eyes know exactly what content you're watching yeah. remember you have to go on that HD color setting settings that's above and and you know it's not your fault there was no way for you to know unless someone told you okay like there was really no way for you to knew about that now you can see the Asia looks much much better here as it should looks uh, brighter where it needs to be brighter so we're gonna exit out of here we're gonna exit out of here we're gonna go this way And then uh, we're gonna go into a chopper to get a little to get better sense of how it looks. But then again, it also depends on your settings too, guys. What type of settings are you using on your television? What type of television do you have? All of these elements will uh, have an effect. What type of a monitor, HDR monitor, do you have? You know. 
what I'm basically just doing here, I'm just showing you that this is the reason why your windows was always dimmed is because you were not adjusting that SDR, that HDR compression to the SDR container. You were not moving that paper white all the way high. Now it is high and it should look much, much better. Like especially right up here, it should look really good. You know, even I didn't know about this till I started doing some research. I started doing research and I was like, well, why is it? Uh, I was asking the same question like you guys were asking. Why is it that uh, the HDR on the windows always is dimmed? Why isn't it uh, brighter? And that's the reason why. Because the Microsoft really never explained this. They never like uh, in detail told you, hey, this is the reason why. But now you know why. You got to go to that Windows HDR color settings and uh, just adjust your paper white. Move it all the way high. But I think we can move this up a little bit higher. Maybe, uh, let me see. Let me go to the settings. Uh, I think we can go a little bit higher here. Let me go to the AGR calibration. Let's get the AGR intensity a little bit. Okay. Let's move this up a little bit higher too. There we go. It should look much better now. Oh yeah. But also remember guys, it really depends on your TV. I always say this to, to everyone. Yes, you do have to adjust your HDR settings. Uh, on your windows and you do have to adjust your AGR settings on your video game that you are playing but at the same time you got to make sure that your TV peak brightness and uh, I mean your backlit and your contrast it's set to maximum you gotta have the backlit and contrast set to maximum and also at the same time you need to make sure what your television is capable of is it 800 nits is it 900 nits if you have a 800 to 900 nits television you should be good because that's the standard right there you know now if you have a television that's 1000 nits or above then you are truly in heaven you're like okay this is it this is a true true hdr tv especially if your uh, tv has that color gamut a great measurement of dc ip3 okay It should look great, um, but it, it will only look as, as great as depending on what you're, what you're watching it on, okay? I don't know what type of a TV are you watching this on, and I don't know what type of a phone are you watching this on. Just remember, whatever device you're watching this on, whatever panel you're watching this on, you got to make sure that your uh, peak brightness is set to high, okay? Because that's what the HDR wants. All right, so let me exit out of here. Let, let me go back to the Windows features and uh, let me uh, show this again. Uh, let me uh, go back. 
go to the settings and exit uh, quit to the desktop yes so let's let's kind of mention this one more time here uh, let's go to uh, okay let me just move that okay All right, we'll, we'll do it again. We'll go to the settings. There it is. Remember, you hit on Windows and HDR color settings. You got to make sure you turn this on. You have to make sure that you're, uh, when you go to a display, you have to make sure that you turn the play HDR games and apps on. And you got to also make sure that your TV supports HDR. If your TV doesn't support HDR, it's not going to work. Uh, once you turn that on, it's right above. Hit Windows HD color settings. It even says right here, get a brighter, more vibrant picture in HDR and WCG video games and apps so your display looks much brighter. So you got to click on the Windows HD color settings. And then here, make sure you turn both the HDR games and apps and stream HDR video on, meaning you can stream HDR video when you are. So I should be able to stream HDR video now. I'll try to do this on, um, as a matter of fact, I'll try to do this on Call of Duty, Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare, and this is the important part, your SDR content appearance. Make sure you turn this sucker all the way high. The reason you were getting that, that dim, because it was set to default, and that's why it was like this, that's why it was dimmed. Just turn the sucker all the way to the 100, leave it at the 100, and uh, you're good to go. And that's it, guys, that's pretty much all you have to do. You know, if you have any more questions, just go ahead and leave it down below. I'll try to answer it and try to uh, give you guys, um, I'll try to help you as much as I can to my knowledge, okay? So, um, there you have it, you know? Now you know that this is somebody who is not talking out of his ass. This is somebody who actually has been doing this for six years. I'm just here trying to help you out, man. That's all it is. No bullshit here. Just trying to help you out. You're welcome.